Kia ora guys and welcome back to my little channel. Now a while back I was in one of the local charity shops and I picked up this Voigtlander Vitaret R for the princely sum of $60. <laughs> Which I thought was a little bargain to be honest. And when I get out of the box, there you go. Comes in a beautiful leather case. Looks to be in pretty good condition. And look, and just take a look, oh, take a look at that. Lovely, lovely little camera. Okay, let's take it out of its case. Just have a little bit of a look around it. There's not much to show you, to be honest. It's quite a, quite a simple little camera. 35 millimeter coupled rangefinder. The Vitaret R, R is for rangefinder. There's various models on this. Some with the light meter, some without. Um, this is the rangefinder, but no light meter. So to record the light handheld meter, in this case, the Sirconic, Flashmate, and I can't even read it, L something or other. I'll put the link down below what it is. I can't actually remember, it's, the writing's faded on it, and I can't see it. So yeah, back to the camera. Now I've got a film in the camera. I've loaded a roll of Ilford FP4 into the camera, which I'm gonna rate ISO 400, which I'm really enjoying the results from that, from that combination. That's your film advance. The front of the camera, you've got a beautiful Voigtlander script there. You've got the triangular rangefinder patch window there. You've got the viewfinder there. You've got the shutter release there, just to the right of the lens. And it's quite a quirky design, that one. So you can sort of fire the trigger by pushing down like that. And uh, you, at the minute, I'm finding it a little bit possibly awkward in that I'm possibly squeezing too hard. It just feels like I'm juddering the camera just a shade and possibly giving myself some... Uh, some blurred exposures, but we'll see how it comes out. The lens is a 50 millimeter f2.8 Lanthar lens with a Pronto 125 shutter. Shutter speed range from bulb mode, 1/30th, 1/60th, and a maximum of 1/125th. Apertures range from f2.8 to f22. You've got a distance scale at the front of the barrel here. When you look through the viewfinder, you'll see the rangefinder patch in the middle of the viewfinder. And basically, you'll have two images, and what you've got to do is just turn the distance scale until the two images come together as one. Then you know you've got focus. On the base of the camera, you've got the film counter window, and you've got a tripod mount. That's it. I've not actually looked into this yet, but I would imagine to rewind the film once it's done, you press down that button there, and then start rewinding there. This camera did come with all the relevant documentation. So this is the original purchase receipt from Camera and Craft in Christchurch, New Zealand. It was bought in March 1968 by a Mr. M. A. Jones from Spraden in Christchurch. And he paid $41.20 for the camera. Now, I did a little bit of a calculation online and it came back that if that was in today's money, the $41 back in 1968 would be worth $1,480 today. And I think that's a crock somewhere. I've got my numbers mixed up. I don't know. Some economists will work that out and let me know in the description below. But it, it seems like a lot of money in 1968 for a little simple West German camera like this. But who knows? It looks like uh, Mr. M.A. Jones was making a note of what print sizes and how much he was going to charge for them. It came with a, a guarantee warranty. So that's all pretty cool. He has filled it in. Look, Mr. M.A. Jones of Winchbury Street, Spraden Christchurch. So that's all good. And then it came with the, what's this one here? It came with a supplementary instructions. Valuable practical hint. Oh, I better read that one. When the film was being placed, okay, I'll read that later. But that, uh, that could come in handy for me because I never read instruction manuals, so uh, I better start. And then it came with the actual with the actual Vitaret R instruction manual from 1968 or from 1960, whenever the camera was made. Beautiful. Basically, that's it, guys. There's nothing else I can possibly tell you about this camera at the moment. I just want to make sure the camera works first before I do anything serious with it. So uh, 36 frames. Let's get it rattled off as quick as we can. I've taken maybe 10 frames already on this roll of film. But so far, so good. So the next step is to see what exactly I got from this camera. Your supplier can pass your details to your network operator and add you to their registers too. Good idea to ask them to do this if you rely on the energy from your gas and electricity. 
Amber. Amber. Clever girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it seems to be working. As though it ruined. Is she? When we don't need. Where the river still runs deep. Even though there's an ocean under your feet. Are we losing our minds? When we try to speak. And I'll wait. Till you're under my skin. And I'll ask it in ways. In ways. So draw a smile. Fades away, and I'll ask you to stay. For our lives to condensate.
used to condensate So, after about a week of shooting, finally finished that roll of film. I really enjoyed this camera. Fun to shoot, quite easy to shoot. The rangefinder patch is nice and bright. Focusing was, focusing was quite seamless, actually. The only problem that became apparent was the frame advance. When you're, when you're advancing the frame, a couple, of the, a couple of the photographs have come out slightly overlapping, which was, yeah, it's, it's not a major. It only occurred on about maybe three or four frames, so nothing really to worry about. Out of 36 exposures, I think I managed about 33, I think, and there's a couple I missed at the beginning where I wound too far. But other than that, for $60, 1960s camera, $60, quite impressed. So the film was developed in Kodak D76 because I've got plenty of that stashed and all made up. All in all, quite pleased with the results. All right, guys, listen, thanks very much for sticking with this. Have a fantastic new year, and we'll see you on the flip side. All right, kakitiano.